what do you think of collective consciousness? What do you think of the power of, is there some tipping point with the whole world starts to believe that we can all live to age 150? Yeah. It becomes, it becomes true. Um, things of that sort. Okay. Well, I certainly believe that we'll be able to live beyond 150. Um, yeah. You know, that um, I just saw something, um, a picture of this woman who made herself a birthday cake. Uh, somebody sent this to me and she is 112. All right now, the younger generation is already expected. Newborns now are already expected to live to 125, and if you can live to 125, why not 126 and then 126, you know, and so on. Yeah. So that I don't. Um, I think that that will happen. Um, I hope, and the reason I keep writing these books and giving these talks, not just to meet nice people like yourself, but to to make it so uh, to encourage the spread of this mindfulness and to hope we're in the midst of an evolution in consciousness. And then it'll just be a better world for all of us. You know, when you think about it, the, there's enough food for everybody. You know, we don't have to have people who are starving. The multi-billionaires can't spend all that money. The reason they want all that money, I would imagine, is for bragging rights or, you know, to have a, a positive image of themselves, which they could have, you know, without any of that money, if they'd only uh, listen to people like us, could it um, become a, bar a barrier to them actually encountering that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it also could become a facilitator because they realize they're still not any happier, and they have to actually figure something out. Yeah. But it could go well, a lot of different directions. <laughs> but it's well, not the money, <laughs> right? Exactly. But maybe you'll yeah. you'll help me in this endeavor. I want to take yeah. the vertical, so where I, you, others sit on top, hmm. and make it horizontal. Make it sure. so everybody is appreciated. So I wrote this song for my um, grandkids. I'm not going to sing it, although I should sing it because the essence of a song is why should I can do a lot of things. The fact that I can't Let's sing, sing it. What are you doing? Let's no, sing I'm not going to sing it now. I've okay, embarrassed fine. myself. But, but the idea is that everybody doesn't know something and everybody knows something else. Everybody can't do something yeah. and everybody can do something else. And, you know, we got a glimpse of it during COVID when the people you cared most about were the ones who were willing to deliver the toilet paper, you know, not, not your accountant or uh, the architect. Um, and we, yeah. we lost it too quickly. But this, this is so important to me. And I was, uh, I was at the house. We were getting a giant delivery um, to store some things in the basement. And I felt, and I've got these, you know, three Distinguished Scientist Award, Genius Award, you know, awards up the wazoo, wherever the wazoo is. And yeah. I say to myself, there's no way that all of that furniture is going to fit in this space where you're going to actually be able to have access to it. And the guy who is here, um, who um, helps at my partner's store, who thinks nothing of himself and he's uneducated and, you know, somebody who thinks of himself as a loser. Okay, so here I am, the big winner. There he is, the big loser. He puts it all in the basement and you can access anything there. Um, it was perfect and it just felt to me so unfair. You know, mm -hmm. here his talents so outweighed mine. Why, why should my praise be sung and he walk away feeling you know, uh, so bad for himself. And so I've got new views of um, how to totally change our system of education. In the uh, Mindful Body book, I have uh, how to create an, a new um, system of hospitals, what the hospital should be. Um, and I think that in making believe this is all an answer to your question, that yes, over the next, how many years did you say, 50 years? Um, mm. many of these changes um, will take place. And yeah. I, at 76, expect to be around to see them. I love that. Yeah, it's the, uh, <clears throat> the what do they call it? You, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's the, the longevity uh, escape velocity. Are you familiar yeah. with that? that <laughs> no. Term? You, so you, <clears throat> it's, the, the concept is essentially if, you can, if you're at a certain age and a certain health, mm -hmm. then every day that you're around technology is advancing yes, and so exactly you, you, and you can make it whereas if you're like 90 and again you know, whatever it's like technology is not gonna be good enough in the next before you die mm -hmm. but if you're younger and you keep yourself healthy you can kind of hang on that edge and yeah. kind of wait for technology yeah. to catch up it's kind of interesting yeah interesting that's fun thing. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that conversation. If you did jump over to YouTube, subscribe over there so you can see the video version of this and the rest of the podcast, as well as instructional content that is also at Align Podcast on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for joining you. I'll see you next week.